Hello everyone, Carolina Venom here. Uh, today I'm taking a look at three phones from uh, three different carriers. Today uh, uh, these are all prepaid devices. Uh, I'm gonna. I've been known to do reviews on cell phones, but not really give you know technical um, features and specs on these phone on phones. So I decided today to take a look at these three phones: uh, the uh, the Verizon. LG Optimus Exceed, the uh, AT&T ZTE Radiant, and the uh, Virgin Mobile ZTE All. Um, all three are nice phones. Um, some are, you know, there is some pros and some cons to each of these phones. Um, but we're going to get into right now to the specs. So I got them all put up on my tablet here. So we're going to go ahead and get in, get into the um, technical parts of the phone. Uh, this is a nice little phone. It does feel good. Uh, reception on this phone is very mediocre. It's not the best in the world. Uh, I live in a good Verizon area and only one bar of service, so that's not very good. It's got a now I've got no service. It's now it's got it's got a four inch screen with a front facing camera on the front and a five megapixel camera with HD recording and your flash. Uh, like I said, it's got a four inch display and cornering Gorilla Glass got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor uh, got a 5 megapixel rear camera with full 1080 HD video capture and VGA front facing camera uh, this phone really does have a good front facing camera for taking pictures and video um, it's, of course it's not as good as some of the higher end phones but for a cheaper prepaid phone uh, this has got the best camera out of the three um, really, uh, as far as autofocus goes and recording goes, this one here takes takes the prize on the camera because um, it's really nice. Uh, it's only got 3G a 3G network because uh, Verizon don't have any, Verizon does not offer 4G on their prepaid phones yet, which is kind of crazy. But this is only a 3G device. Um, it's got uh, one gigabyte of RAM. It's got a 1700 milliamp hour battery with up to 8 hours of talk time and up to 350 hours of standby time. Now, I kind of got to disagree with that because when I use this phone, um, for a little bit of time that I used it, uh, I noticed that the battery life wanted to, to drain quite a bit. Uh, I even had to buy a spare battery because the battery just did not last very long on this, in this phone, especially when you're on the 3G network. Um, Using Wi-Fi, it got somewhat better, but I don't think it's that good. Um, it's got eight gigabytes of internal memory, uh, so I'm guessing about four gigabytes of memory available to user, which is pretty good. And it supports up to a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. Um, of course, you know certain you know certain features will use more power, and you know battery times will vary. Uh, it's running Android 4.0.4 ICS. Uh, don't know if it's going to get any more upgrades than that, um, but I know it does run 4.0.4. Uh, it has Bluetooth version 3.0. Uh, and that's about it. Um, like I said, the camera is 5 megapixel with 1080 recording. Um, you can record with or without sound. So you know, it's pretty nice. It's a nice phone. Um, it's got you know a pretty good amount of features on it. It's just not the the greatest phone out there as far as reception. Call quality is good. Um, camera is camera's good. Uh, it does sometimes lag and freeze up a little bit sometimes. Uh, but that's really about the only problem I've had with this phone. Um, secondly, we're going to the second phone which will be the ZTE Radiant from AT&T. This is a good phone as well. A um, little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, uh, very slick. If you ain't careful, you'll drop it. Uh, screen is not as good on this phone as the other two phones. It's kind of, I wouldn't say washed out, but it's just to me, it's just not very sharp, not very clear. Uh, this phone does not have a front-facing camera. That's the only thing it's lacking is the front facing camera uh records in hd has a five megapixel camera on the back flash um it's but 
benefit to this phone that the other ones don't have is this is a 4G device and um, that's pretty good 4G speeds as well we'll go into the specs here like I said it's got a 4 inch display with 800 by 480 resolution runs Android 4.1.2 Jolly Bean uh, has a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and 720p recording it's got a 1.4 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor. It's got a 1735 milliamp hour battery with up to 5 hours talk time and 312 hours of standby time. Uh, it does get decent battery life. It's not the greatest in the world. It's better than the LG, but uh, 5 hours may be right, but I doubt it'll last 312 hours on standby. But like I say, you know, using uh, different apps and features may use more power, so of course you can't really go by that anyway uh the internals it's got a one it's got one gigabyte gigabyte of ram and four gigabyte of internal memory with two gigabytes available to user with the support up to a 32 32 gigabyte micro sd card it's got bluetooth 3.0 uh that's about all it's really telling me about this phone like i said it is a 4g phone and uh i live on the outskirts uh, of a 4G network and um, I can pull 4G service really good and I can get with between 5 and 6 megabits per second download and about 0.80 to 1 megabit up, upload uh, in a very good AT&T strong 4G network I can get about you know 11, 11 megabits per second download um, so that's not too bad. You know, in between 10 and 11 megabits per second download. So that's not too bad. Uh, speeds are really good. On a strong um, network with Verizon 3G, I might get 2 to 3 megabits. It just depends on which area I'm in. Uh, so anyway, good phone, um, good call quality, good battery life. The screen ain't the best in the world. So if I got to give it any negatives, it'd be the screen and no front facing camera. Now on to the last phone is the ZTE All with Virgin, from Virgin Mobile. Uh, it does have a, fa a front facing camera. Uh, on the back you have your uh, camera and your flash uh, with a 4 inch screen. This one feels good in the hand. It's, um, it's not, not too slick and it really feels good in the hand. Um, to me personally, if it's got a 4 inch screen or above, it's fine. To me, anything smaller than a 4 inch screen is just too small. I've had a few 3.5 inch screens and to me they're just they're just too small. If I'm going to get a phone, it's got to be at least 4 inch screen or bigger. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the uh, specs of the All. It has, well, well, I didn't change it, did I? Nope, I didn't. Let's go over here and look at the all. This will take, this will, this will take me just a second to get it over there. All right. Like I okay, got a four inch display, uh, eight hundred by four eighty resolution with IPS technology. That's running Android four point one point two Jelly Bean. I'm not sure if it's going to get any updates to anything newer than that, so I don't know. Uh, it's got a five megapixel camera with LED flash. 720p video capture and their front facing resolution is one megapixel. It's got a 1.2 dual core, 1.2 gigahertz dual core. I think it's a Snapdragon S2 processor uh, with a 1650 milliamp hour battery up to 11 hours talk time. Uh, actual times will vary because of some features and applications. Now, this camera, this phone does have good battery life. Uh, 11 hours talk time, I've never talked on it for 11 hours, so I would not know. But it does last a quite, you know, quite a long time, as long as you're on Wi-Fi. Now, if you're in a low service area and you're using, if you're on 3G, it's gonna suck your battery down. You know, like with any of these phones, um, you know, low service and it's, you're on 3G or 4G, it's gonna drain your battery. But if you're in a good service area using Wi-Fi or in a good service area with, with, with 3G, you're gonna get pretty good service. Uh, I mean, pretty good battery life. Um, it's got four gigabytes of internal memory with two gigabytes available to user and one gigabyte of RAM and support up to 32 gigabytes on a micro SD card. It runs, it's got, it runs Bluetooth 4.0, uh, 
Um, that's just just about it. It is only a 3G device as well. Um, and the only negative that I can really say about this phone, about the ZTE All, is the fact that this is the network that it's on. Because Virgin Mobile, as you know, runs on the Sprint network, and actually, I have very, I'm actually outside the coverage area. I'm in a white area where there's no service at all. But I can get, I can get phone calls. I can make, I can make phone calls, receive phone calls, and actually hold a phone call. Um, it's better with a Bluetooth headset because I'm not you know, t touching the phone, so it's more apt to be clear. Um, but that's the only thing bad I can say about the uh, ZTE All is the fact that it's on the Sprint network. As, as you see, I have no bars of service at all, and you know, I sw down here, that's, that's that's the way it is. But this screen is very sharp. And I like the way the screen on this phone on this phone looks. Um, these two, like I said, these two phones right here had the best screens. Three um, G speed on this phone here is slow because because Sprint because Sprint is slow. Uh, the maximum that I can pull in a good Sprint network is around one to one point five megabits per second download. Uh, while I'm at it, I am going to run a benchmark test on all three of these phones. Now, there is going to be some difference, of course, because, like I said, 1.2 gigahertz dual core, 1.4 gigahertz dual core, and 1.2 gigahertz dual, uh, dual core. Yeah, I'll get to that here in just a second. Um, let's go ahead and run these things. The only one activated at the moment is the Virgin Mobile All. Uh, I'm currently um, probably going to be changing back to AT&T next month because of the service and because of the coverage area. Uh, the thing I like about about Virgin Mobile is the fact that they got unlimited data, but when the data is so slow, you know, it's kind of kind of a pain. But um, you know, with AT&T and Verizon, they got you know, two gigabytes. Is they're really almost their max. You can add, I mean, you can add extra memory, but, you know. I've never really been too crazy about GSM networks, but, um, like that, like AT&T, but, to be, honestly, I believe they got better, I believe they're better than they used to be. Wait till y'all get done here. LG's lagging behind. Trying to keep his video as short as I can, but it's taking the time. Finally, okay, let's check it out. This phone here is running at 2923. Uh, so, not the best for a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Uh, 2923. We'll switch over here to the ZTE. Radiant, and we're pushing 5,692 with a 1.4 uh, gigahertz dual core. Now that's a pretty fast speed, in my opinion. I know there's some S3s, S4s, and HTC ones, and all. They're around nine, ten thousand. But for a prepaid device for under a hundred dollars, 5,692. This phone is virtually, um, it's really smooth. I mean, it has no really no hiccups at all. And lastly, on the on here we have 4,942. Um, it has been as high as 5,100, but right now it's right at right at 5,000. So you know, for 1.2 gigahertz dual core, being the same as the Verizon model, and this one's pushing almost 5,000. Uh, this phone is really smooth. Um, my favorite phone here would have to be the ZTE All. Uh, cause like I say, there is absolutely no problems with the all. Um, the only con that I can say about the, about this phone right here is the network that it's on. Um, the phone is smooth. It's very, it has no freezing problems, no lagging problems. It works flawlessly. I've not had any hiccups with this phone whatsoever. Um, the Radiant is also a good phone. It's fast. To me, honestly, I believe that the all is smoother than the uh, Radiant, in my opinion. 
Uh, my least favorite would be the LG, mainly because of the, um, it does freeze sometimes, it does lag. Uh, when you even go to your app sometimes, it'll, it'll have to load for a little bit before it'll even go to your apps. And these phones right here, I mean, they're just quick. I mean, there's, there's just virtually no lag in these phones here whatsoever. I mean, I mean, these phones here are just about perfect, in my opinion. For prepaid phones, you can't beat. You really can't be any of them. So, I mean, you know, I know they got a new phone out now with, with Verizon. It's called the uh, Samsung Galaxy Legend. And uh, I heard that, that that phone is better than the LG. And it's got about the same specs as an LG. But it's better reception and it's a better phone all the way around. So, anyway, my winner here is the ZTE All. And another good thing about it, it's got a dedicated camera key. Which is always a good thing to have on a cell phone. So, uh, anyway... I hope this helps a little bit. Um, got any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. I want to wish all y'all a Merry Christmas. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. We'll talk at you later.